Hey, hey, welcome back. Welcome back, MWU family. Today is Friday, so you already know what that means. This is our subscribers. Yes, that's you guys. News and comments. How else can we know what's going on in every other state and country without all of you? Thank all of you for coming and participating in these videos. Come into the comments and letting me know what's going on or letting us know what is going on in your neck of the woods. Thank you, thank you so much. And if you're new to the channel and you want to go ahead and let us know what's going on, leave your state in the comments below and, you know, just let us know what you're seeing or noticing in your neighborhoods. Um, Thank you for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing. And if you've been here before, what is up, family? We're going to get started. All right, so Prepper, they're going to start removing shells soon. So definitely, I'm noticing that in New Jersey, the shells are much smaller. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys are seeing that as well. Robin, my great value cans are up to 68 cent now. Wow, we'll be reaching a dollar soon before you know it. Though we are only at 54 cents, some cans are in the 60 something cent and some cans are 99 cent now. Um, but just for the regular cans that used to be 50 cent, it will be reaching a dollar soon. I can definitely see that. How much are your great value vegetables? All right, San Lee. Hallelujah, sister. Some people are blind. They cannot see the truth before them, even if they try. We need to stay in prayer and get close to the God more than ever before because at the end of the day, God is the only one who can protect us, provide for us, and shelter us wherever we are and no matter what happens. God bless. And that is true. All right, Trish. Aldi isn't too bad here in Central North Carolina. However, you got to go everywhere to catch the lowest prices. So gas eats the savings. I need more spices and white vinegar for my showers. Make sure y'all stock up on them spices and that vinegar. Trust me, it'll save you more than a little bit. All righty, Lewis in Chicago land. Been seeing the low stock and cleaning supplies, especially laundry detergent. Same here in New Jersey. All right, next comment come from Tonette. I haven't seen Celeste Pizza in many years, not since I lived in Washington, D.C. area before you were born. We don't have frozen veggies in our local Walmart, North Central Kentucky, for that cheap at all. The chicken breasts were still $1.99 a pound here. Today, sugar was finally getting low. I'm starting to see a low stock of sugar and flour in my area of New Jersey as well. Let me know how the flour and sugar is starting to look in your areas as well. All right, 2B, it's just short, but we'll be restocked. Do a video of this a month from now. I bet it will be full. All right, we're going to be doing just that. So sometime next month or the end of April, we'll be doing another walkthrough through Walmart. All right, Regina, she dehydrated frozen vegetables, eggs. They turned out good too, but she had to run them through the coffee grinder. So they'll be well blended. Running your dehydrated eggs through a coffee grinder is a great idea all right bulldog mummy i'm in the uk and i love seeing the different types of food available in the us we also have huge gaps in the shelves you can't get free range eggs anymore because of the avian flu threat farmers have to keep the birds indoors so legally it's not called free range which is true because it's not free from sarah for a good disinfectant, for any of those who can find a spot in or outside your home, grow some oregano and Google how to make disinfectant cleaner from oregano. I'm allergic to most commercially made cleaners. This works great for me. Of course, if you're allergic to mints or oregano, oregano, don't do it. So that's a great tip if you want to go ahead and make your own disinfectant. I love when you guys come through and share information in the comments. It can help somebody. You just never know. So thank you for that, Sarah. All right. Next up is JLYNNC. Walmart placed a limit on the number of candy jars I could buy. It was an online order. That is crazy. Trish, scary gaps. Never seen any like this in my 51 years. It's very scary. <laughs> All right, Lewis, I opened a can of Vienna sausages the other day, and the one that used to be in the middle was missing years ago when I used to eat them regularly. I remember they were so packed in that they were hard to remove from the cans intact. Blessings and greetings from Chicago. Thanks for sharing that, and I know exactly what you were talking about. It was so hard to remove them little sausages from the can with that one right there in the middle. So, yes, the products are shrinking, coming with less while the prices are rising. Let me know if you guys have seen the smaller packages, but the higher prices. 
All right, Elizabeth in South Texas visited Walmart and H-E-B Grocery and both stores were fully stocked, but there was no citrus whatsoever, no potatoes. It seems to come in phases. I would have to say in this coastal town, I feel like I'm the only one stocking up. And you know what, Elizabeth? Keep on and keep on be the only one stocking up. Because soon before you know it, you're going to need all that stuff that you're stocking up on. Keep on and keep on. All right, so next comment is from Miza Rosa. There are a lot of people who are not taking this seriously. We are leaving the plenty years and headed into the lean years. The ones who are not preparing will be the ones looting and stealing from the ones who heeded the warnings and prepared while we have plenty of supplies, which is true. I mean, there's going to be a lot of drama. I'm going to say it like that going on. When crap hit the fan for real so definitely that's why i urge as much people as i can to go ahead and stock up now while it's here all right susan why is the only walmart's and target stores that are this way um i haven't seen this in any other local stores i'm gonna leave this one for the commenters what is it looking like in your areas besides walmart and target me on the other hand i have plenty of other videos on my page um with various different stores of what we're looking like and anyone is welcome to check that out all right double d homestead make sure y'all go ahead and check her out if you have a dollar tree you can do a ship to store order i bought a case 24 of salt for just 12 dollars just fyi to get stocked which is great if y'all looking for salt go ahead to dollartree.com order it ship it to the store go pick it up for 12 dollars. not bad all right precious jacob hey love sorry for being selfish but when are you going to do another prepper pantry meal? P.S. Please pray for New York 13 people were shot on the train this morning. Yes, that happened a few days ago. And I'm so glad that they caught the guy that did it. As far as for the prepper meal, um, I think we're going to be going ahead and dropping another prepper pantry meal this Sunday. Even though I usually don't post videos on Sundays, we're trying to fit that into our schedule. Thank you. You are the real MVP for noticing my little prepper pantry meals. All right. All right. So, Rano, uh, the ready rice in their area is $3.89. The little Ben's ready rice, $3.89. See, and here in New Jersey, it's only like a dollar and change. I could imagine paying almost $4 for some ready rice. Now, that's pricey. All right. From Francine, I found a full line and except for pasta. And my kind of creamer, it looked great. That's good. I don't have a full line where I'm at, but I did go to a store that didn't seem too bad today. But that video won't be shared until next week. So make sure your notification bells are on so you know when I post. From Theolana, eggs are $14.06 here in Memphis, Tennessee for the 60 count. Whoa, we just hit $10 and change, almost 11 bucks. So I can imagine paying $14 for some eggs. But in all reality, the eggs are going to just keep going up because of everything that's going on. All right, Julie. So shortages are starting to hit their little country town. Um, and pasta eggs, chicken, Roman flour, sugar, canned goods are okay. And she just paid $25.97 for toilet paper. That used to be $17.97. Yeah, I see them price spikes. Let me know what is something that went up drastically in price that you used to buy. I'm going to say used to because when things go up drastically in price, just because, you know, the prices is going up, that don't mean the money in our bank account is going up. It's going down. So something is being left out of every household that they are no longer buying unless you are big baller. All right. And if you just like me, listen, something is being left out. All righty. From Stephanie here in Europe, the Netherlands, we don't have any sunflower oil. And flower inflation is 12.4%, wage taxes 42%, um, buying clothes 21%, grocery 16 and 19% taxes. Now, those are some high taxes. Y'all are being like tax, tax, like highly taxed. That's horrible. All right, Bulldog Mummy. Or you have skyrocketed in price here in the UK. Ukraine is the biggest producer of cooking oil in Europe, especially sunflower oil. I haven't done a scientific calculation, but my guesstimate, it has gone up 50%. Yes, it has risen, rising. It's skyrocketed, just like you said. I honestly expect it to be more empty and the prices would be much higher. 
in the next few weeks. I'm not going to even say month. I will say the next few weeks. Alrighty, from Cat's Farm here in rural Arkansas. The shelves were stocked, which was strange. First time it's looked at stocked in the last two years. And I'm telling y'all, just like they was telling y'all and this person told y'all, when it looks stocked, I'm telling you, you better stock up. It's the reason why them shelves are stocked. If you see it, get it. And I live by that. And I say that in most of my videos. If you see it, get it. So that's going to go ahead and be it for today's video. Today is Friday where I go ahead and bring to you the subscriber news and comments. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Today is Good Friday. So I hope that you all are having a good, great, amazing Friday as we head into Easter weekend. Um, hopefully you all get some preps in, continue to stay stocked up, find your sales, get your little extras here and there. Every grocery trip, trust me, it will make some sort of stockpile. Me personally, I've been buying little by little every grocery trip. And I can honestly say we have a year's worth of food if it was to go down. Um, so definitely guys, it works little by little. Keep adding. Don't stop. Sorry if y'all heard any noise in the background. The baby's sleeping. And she kind of snoring all over the place, y'all. It's kind of hard to, like, get away from it. But most definitely, thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great weekend. You all stay prepped, stay blessed, stay safe. And thank you for tuning in over here at Moments With Us with the MWU family. Continue to leave them comments. Continue to leave an emoji if you're new here. And if you don't really like want to comment or kind of voice yourself in the comments, just leave an emoji so I know that you are here. I'll see you all next video. Go on and get out there and go and get prepped. Don't get mad at us. Go, go, go get prepped. I'll see y'all next time.